How the Allies Cracked the Enigma Code It is the peak of World War II. Wolf packs, squadrons of German U-boats, were swarming in the Atlantic Ocean hunting down Atlantic convoys bringing supplies from the USA to Britain. Dawn broke, and the U-boats received daily weather reports in the most encrypted format of the time, Enigma Code. The U-boat occupants prepared for their attack. They are not aware of the fact that a group of mathematicians in Bletchley Park, Britain broke the Enigma code and are eavesdropping into their conversions with German high command. The U-boat's positions, their movement, and instructions from Germany were known to Britain. The secret of breaking the Enigma code was more secretive than the Enigma code itself. The Enigma Machine The Enigma Machine was invented in Germany by Arthur Scurbius. The first use case of Enigma was to transmit secret banking information. When the war period came, the German army wanted to use the Enigma machine to encrypt and decrypt messages sent across units on the battlefield. An Enigma machine consists of several tuning parameters, which made it difficult to crack. During World War II, every message got transmitted via Morse code as a radio signal, and it is open for anyone to hear if someone tunes to that particular frequency. It was the need of the hour to encrypt the message so that only the intended person can read the message. Basic encryption is a method of replacing an alphabet in a message with some arbitrary alphabet based on an algorithm. Engima was a more advanced form of an encryption algorithm. The Enigma machine contained three rotors a wheel with numbers. Each rotor had 26 positions, and the rotor position was changed every day. A code book told the Enigma operator about rotor settings for each day. The military Enigma machine had another set of encryption layer by using switchboards where each alphabet got mapped to another alphabet. The mapping mechanism increased the combination by several trillion. Breaking such a trillion combination was nearly impossible, so the German high command was confident that the Enigma code was unbreakable. Operation Every morning Enigma operators in German forces across the globe turn their rotors to the combination mentioned in the codebook. The message transmitters type the intended information in the Enigma machine and wrote down the encrypted alphabets and pass it to the radio operators. Radio operators transmit the information in Morse code. At the receiving station, the radio operator wrote the Morse code and passed on to the receiving station Enigma operator who decrypted the message in his Enigma machine. British sailors found an Enigma machine and code book on a captured U-boat. British intelligence soon discovered that the Germans changed code book frequently. British intelligence formed Unit X in Bletchley Park to decrypt Enigma code. Alan Turing, who is regarded father of modern computers, joined the team. There were two major flaws in the Enigma code, which allowed the British to crack it. The flaws. The first flaw was daily scheduled transmission of the weather report. The U-boats in the Atlantic received daily weather from stations in Europe. This weather report was important information because it allowed U-boat commanders to plan attacks on the Atlantic convoys. The transmission always starts with the same wording, say for example, weather report. Transmission started every day with the same word, and it helped the Enigma team to start from someplace. The second flaw is when encrypting, the same alphabet cannot be used to encrypt itself. For example, ABBA encryption with ABBA is not feasible, and it led to a massive flaw in the encryption. British scientists used this rule of the same alphabet when they developed their encryption method. Under the rule messages can be encrypted with the same character. So, for example, every day morning when the transmission starts, British scientists looked for the word weather in an encrypted format. The bomb. When the word weather's encrypted Enigma pair is filtered out, it is still mathematically impossible to decrypt it. To solve the mathematical complexity, the wizards of Bletchley Park come into the picture. 
Alan Turing came up with an electrical machine with several rotating circles. The device got the apt name, BOM. When the weather words encrypted match is found it's fed to the BOM, which ran all combinations and output the configuration of the Enigma for that day. The BOM reduced the time taken for decoding the Enigma configuration drastically. The BOM was the predecessor of the modern-day computer. The code breaker kept their secret and only released decrypted information for critical operations. By the end of the war, 600 bombs were operating from either side of the Atlantic. The decrypted messages from Enigma were called Ultra. Aftermath Winston Churchill once said the code breakers had reduced the war by four years. By breaking the Enigma code, Allied forces were eavesdropping into German conversations even without the German military realizing it. The knowledge helped in saving millions of lives during World War II.